Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV, another of my Mars UFO series that I'm doing over the next couple of weeks. And this one is equally interesting, I think, as the last few. And uh, I'm just going to get straight into it and keep this fairly short if I can. This is the raw image. Navcam on the Curiosity rover, right? And here's the crater. Crater floor here, the rover's down here, looking across. The crater's edge here is about 40 plus miles away, about 45 miles, right? There's a little orb just there, a dark one, just here. And up here, there's a UFO with wings, which looks a bit like a bomber, right? Now, it, it, it's a long way off, and it's a long way up. Now, the rover, the new rover on Mars, has a copter drone, that, and it can only, apparently, only fly up to about 20, 27 feet or something, because the air density on Mars is very, very low, apparently. But it's just thick enough for them to fly a helicopter at low altitude, right? So they say. Yeah, I've been spotting things flying around in Gale Crater for years. And this one, I would say, is about a, one or two thousand feet up. Now, bear in mind, this crater is really low, right? That horizon line in the distance is approximately four and a half kilometres high. We're four and a half kilometres below that, right? And that's 45 miles away, roughly. Probably a bit more than that. So we're getting on for 50 miles away. Now, how, how high is this? It's obviously closer than that. It's not 50 miles away or 40 miles away. I would say this is about a mile or two away and probably about a mile high. Who knows? This may only be a few thousand feet high and smaller because I do see these cross-shaped drones or aircraft quite a lot. And they, sometimes they appear black and sometimes white. As I've said before, they change mode, but it may also be due to the lighting effects and time of day as well. Because you might see it in shadow or maybe the sun may be reflecting on it like we have here, right? I'm just gonna show you the clips I've got and make this nice and quick for you. Here's one. Now, this is a, a real close up. We have, I've taken a clip of that raw image I've just showed you. So that's a raw clip showing the height, how high it is, right? So we've got the ground here, and the UFOs up here, although small, but even though it's a long way off, I think this is quite large, much larger than the ones we've seen before. It appears to be the much larger and further away, but uh, I could be wrong, it could be only a few hundred feet away, but to me it seems a long way off, and uh, we have a perfect cross shape, and it has a little spike on the top here. Just here, you can see a spike there. You look at this negative clip. This has been colour enhanced, this one in the middle. But that's it. Now, I mean, and hardly even brightened or anything. I've added a little bit of contrast and just added a filter. This has been clipped from this and then flipped negative so we can see the shape better. So if I was on the ground looking up at this, if I was in Girl Crater looking up, I would think, wow, look at that, there's an aeroplane. Right? And the clouds. And of course, with the naked eye, you can't zoom in. The beauty with digital imagery is you can just take a clip and enlarge it. And you don't, if you enlarge it carefully, you don't lose anything. If, you're, if you use a bilinear enlargement or weighted average or something like that, you don't lose any detail. Right? But if you go too big, you can't actually see it very well. Um, it just gets more and more blurred. So you've got to get the, the sort of clip about the right size. Right, so I, th I thought winged aeroplane, yeah, maybe. Bomber plane, maybe. <laughs> I mean, this is more likely one of these uh, complex drones that I've shown before, but we're seeing it from a different angle. I don't know, but 
It looks like an aeroplane to me, but there is no tail. You would expect there to be a stabilizer on the back if it was an aeroplane. But of course, this is Mars, right? The air is different. The air density is much lower than we have on Earth. Very, very low. It's less, not even 1% of ours, right? Apparently. Yet, somehow, NASA can fly a helicopter up there. So they're obviously lying about the air density. I think the air density in some of these deep craters is way higher than we're being told. Still not as high as we've got on Earth, but much higher than we're told, okay? So, I've, I've done videos about that before, you can check them out, about the air density and, and water and stuff on Mars. And a lot of these images appear quite misty as well, so there's obviously more moisture in the air than we're told. So I don't think it's quite as dry as we're led to believe. And we have clouds regularly seen in this area. Winged UFO, yes, maybe. Here's the negative. It looks actually clearer in the negative. You can see it better, I think. And you can see that little one down here, just down here. There's one here, look. Right? As well. There's the main one. Let me zoom into that and show you that it's actually quite clear, even at that size before you enlarge it. Right? Quite clear. Unbelievable. It's just well defined for some reason. So I'm guessing it's not miles and miles away. I think it's about a half a mile or maybe a mile away and about a mile up or half a mile up. I don't know. It's impossible to say for sure. But from what I've seen, most of the UFOs I've seen in this area are usually fairly low altitude. But I, I have found some above Mount Sharp, which is miles up, right? It's five kilometres high. Something like that. And uh, we're looking at these things from down three and a half, no, sorry, we're four and a half kilometers down, four and a half thousand meters. That's a long way. It's a long way down, right? So we're right in the bottom of this crater looking up at this thing, which may be miles up. So it could be huge, right? Winged aircraft spotted, winged aircraft. There it is without any text on, okay? So I've got a whole bunch of clips here. And uh, rather than put them all in at the end in a sort of animated sequence, I just thought I'd flick through them like this, full screen, for you to have a look at. And there's the wall image. It's absolutely there, okay? There's no doubt about it. As I said, these images are only compressed by 5%, which means the detail is actually genuine, right? There it is. It's like a cross. A sign of the cross. So thanks for watching. This was a, a quick one. Another one coming up later. I've got some crazy stuff and I, I need to get this stuff out because um, it's insane. And, and the more of these I get out, the more we can compare them to the ones I've already shown. And you can sort of take clips and stuff and compare them back to back as well. Okay, so thanks for watching, everybody. Check me out on Twitter, at Artanian TV. Check out my website, Artanian.tv. And check out my Mars group on Facebook, which is called Mars Magazine. Artanian TV, Mars Magazine. So thanks for watching. Another one of these short UFO Mars videos coming up later. I will see you soon.